Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to another player view on the channel. La Liga team of the season is here and player SPCs are looking pretty good. We've had Isco yesterday and today we have been blessed with Arnaud Danjuma. Villarreal's finest, the face that's look crazy. High medium, 5 foot 10, 4 star, 5 star, brilliant weak foot there. And uh, it's an 85 and an 86 to get him done. So not super cheap, but definitely affordable. And looking at the actual attributes, I'm impressed. He's going to feel quick. He's going to be good finishing with the shot power, decent finishing, attack positioning, and the five-star weak foot, of course. The link-up play with the passing, the short pass, the curve, the composure, all the dribbling stats look mental. 96 agility, 94 balance, brilliant dribbling and ball control. He is in the gym, you know, he's doing the old bench press daily. He's got that strength for 85, which is nice. Aggression a little bit lower, but I'm sure that'd be fine. He's got the stamina. Now, are there finishing traits? They're not. Now, let's him down a little bit. See, what I'm mainly going to be doing in this play of you guys is comparing the two. Because Anzu Fat is technically free. It's an objective at the moment. you just got to spend about an hour or two to get him done. A little bit less if you're a little, uh, little FIFA demon. Uh, but they're very similar cards. So we're going to see who is the better in game here. I will unfortunately be subbing out Ian Wright for Fatty and playing these two as a, a duo up top in a 3 4 1 2. But the card does look sick, guys. Drop me a like if you're excited. Subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 6K. Let's get into some gameplay. All right, so what are we up against, guys? We're going to Foot Champs qualifiers. I've already finished my weekend league. We got 16 2. Ian Wright carried us. Uh, so yeah, we're back at it again. Qualifiers on a Saturday can be a little bit debatable. Uh, it could be sweaty. My past experiences, they are very sweaty. So uh, wish me some luck. And Juma, first touch on the ball. Oh, got a little bit lucky. I want to kind of ping a finesse shot. I mean, that's not a bad start, is it, boys? Two minutes and 20 seconds in, and he's done that. That's what I like to see. I'm hoping, boys, him and Ansu Fati are going to be a ridiculous strike partnership going forward for my team. All right, I'm loving La Liga team this season so far. I'm sure you are too. There's been some crazy cards. Um, and pff, that Juma looks like one of them. Also, guys, do let me know what you think of the La Liga team of the season as a whole. Have you packed any big players? Did you open the, uh, the fodder packs from team of the season swaps? Let me know, guys. I opened them myself. Oh, I mean, that was ridiculous. I've tackled myself, but it's worked out perfectly. Um, we did open the 84 times 25. I got myself Courtois and it was... Who else was it, lads? I always forget. Alioski, the ex-Leeds lads uh, left back. So a little bit underwhelming, but do let me know if you packed some sick La Liga team of the seasons. Come on, Bakayo. That's not a dip. Oh, beautiful. Dan Juma! Unlucky. The movement was good. Maybe in front of the uh, defender would have been ideal, and it would have been an easy tap-in. Hey, Jules Koundé is a tank. I'm so happy I got him as a red. I'm not going to lie to you, boys. I'm a little bit gutted I didn't get any of the big heavy hitters, but still, come away with Jules Koundé, I will take it. First time trying out Araujo. Is it Araujo? I never know how to say his name. Uh, the Barca lad. I also got him as a... Danjuma. Hit it, lads. Not a bad effort. Decent bit of power on it. What's my man playing at? Are we getting a little one real quick? Come on. Come on, Julia Lucas. We take it. All right, game number two. Can we get back to back goals with a man, Dan Juma? Hopefully, there's no player than Mbappe. And then I'll have a little bit of confidence going into this. Okay, it's an interesting team. Icardi's a little bit outdated. He's got some questionable players in there. I've got a feeling Dan Juma's going to have a field day here. Ooh. Ooh. Hit it. Oh, not a bad effort, to be fair. We didn't even green time it. Uh, but he's nice. He looks quick on the ball. Seems like the dribbling's pretty decent as well. And he's got an interesting... He's not um, super lean, not super agile. Movement. Decent. Done. Drive. Uh, he's been outpaced by bloody font. Nah, mate. I'm not having that. I can't remember what card he had earlier in the year, boys. Was it... Um, it was an upgradable card. Maybe road to the knockout, potentially. I'm not too sure. If you do know which card he did have, Danjuma, do let me know down below. But I did try him out, and he was decent for me. I used him as a striker, so I'm sure the more I use this card, the more he is really going to start to shine. Fred him. Little dink. Ah, oh, boys. <sighs> Those are so frustrating, man. That would have been such a nice goal. Danjuma would have had the assist as well. Tommy Muller would have been on the score sheet, but nope, it's been foiled. All right, defence keeper. What's happened there? Ah, that movement's nice. Cross the keeper. 
Great finish. Power. Utilize the shot power, boys. I did see him kind of point for the run as well. I clocked it. It was good. He got the right side of the defender. And there's no catch in the man. As soon as he's going with that Hawk Kemp style, he's going to be rapid. And Sufati. And it's 2 1. The comeback, just like that. The duo, Fati and Danjuma linking up. Nah, boys. I mean, Manuel Neuer, in all fairness, this weekend, if you were in the stream earlier, you would have seen just how good he was to me. He's pulling off some ridiculous saves. That's another one there, but unfortunately it falls back to Buccigueno and uh, it's game on, 2 all. My opponent's got a little something about him, but going forward, I do feel confident. Look, he doesn't feel super agile on the ball. He's definitely got a little something, something about him, but compared to Fatty, I think Fatty feels quicker. That's quite nice though. Ansu just has the pace. He has ridiculous pace. It is frightening. And Dan Juma linking up again the boys. Another goal though for the man. These two as a duo, it's looking pretty promising. Especially if you don't get lucky and get like a red Vinny or something from your Foot Champs Awards. Dan Juma obtainable from SBCs together combined. How much would they be boys? About 200k? Just less than that for Dan Juma and Fatty considering Fatty's an objective. Seems like a pretty sweet deal to me. Little shout out to that Canales, by the way. If any of you boys are wondering if you should uh, pick him up off the market, he's about 50k at the moment, which is insanely cheap. And he is just so damn good. Now, Juma in the air. Doesn't have it. Dante outleaps him. Ooh. He's got a little bit of sauce with the finesse, just Dan Juma. No traits, but he does have really good curve. Uh, so maybe that's what I'm noticing. He scored obviously a screamer in game number one. So at half time we got the 3-2 lead. Dan Juma and Ansu Fati linking up like clockwork up there, boys. I don't know how many Dan Juma scored compared to Fatty. Uh, but both of them are putting in a brilliant stint. Fatty definitely feels quicker and more agile on the ball. Dan Juma's more that physical bruiser. That's probably the best way to refer to him. He's got a bit of something behind him. He's got a bit of power. And the shot power is definitely noticeable when he uh, when he kicks the ball, that's for sure. That is very nice work for Dan Juma. On a play for Ansu Fati. The dribbling felt quick there. I felt in control. And he picks the pass perfectly. Hey, big interception. We got the pace as well. Jose Font. Never mind. It's quicker than Dan Juma. Right, quick counter attack. Ansu. Dan Juma. The movement's good. The power now. We need the pace. It doesn't look that quick, lads. That's nice though. And that's the goal. That must be a hat-trick for him in this game. 5-2 to the boys in this. We're doing good. That's a big save from Van der Sar. Nice little strike. We are 5-2 up in this one. Maggie's in the mud, quite literally. So two games played, four goals and two assists with our man Dan Juma. Now, how does he compare with the likes of Ansu Fati? If you've already got him, is there even... Well, if you've already got Fati, is there a point in doing Dan Juma? Now, it depends where you're playing him. I think if you're playing Dan Juma as a striker, I feel like he's better suited. Um, the runs are behind, the tap positioning is better. He's got more shot power on the strikes. The finishing for Fadi is better. Uh, but, I mean, Dan Juma looks more clinical in game. Now, if you're playing him as a winger or as a cam, Fatty 100% is heads and toes above Dan Juma. It's a, a bit of a difficult one. I know Dan Juma is a winger, but maybe if he was a central player like in game, it would have been a lot easier to link them both into your team. But because they're both left wingers, you're going to struggle, guys. If I was to pick one out of the two, I am going to take Ansu Fati, though. And it's the free card, which basically means should you do this? According to me, no. Um, it's a difficult one. I will try my best to get both of these into the same team going forward, potentially for the rest of this qualifier run here. Uh, but as it stands, Dan Juma is a really nice card. If you can't be asked to go out and grind Ansu Fati, then I would say yes, get him done. If you want to somehow link them both in, play Dan Juma as a left wing, Fati on the right wing, then yes, do it as well, boys. He is really good. The only issue is Fati's free and it's in the same position. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this, guys. Drop me a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I'll be more soon. I'll catch you very soon for another one. Take it easy.